Hi, I'm Saxon with Wild Oak Trail. It is now getting into a very hot season. I'm up in Canada, but uh, it is pretty hot up here. And so I'm sure down south it's even getting hotter. So we've just installed our air conditioner. We are not sponsored by LG by any means. So if you'd like to sponsor us, we're always open to it. We have our EcoFlows now hooked up. Uh, we have the main unit, the EcoFlow Pro. This has 3,600 watts built into it. We have two additional batteries. We don't have them hooked up right now because I want to show you what this air conditioner can do with one, uh, with the unit itself. And then I will be plugging in both batteries and we'll see that in a moment as well. So in order to open up or to hook up the EcoFlow Pro, we got to turn this on. This will do all your USB ports, USB-C. As you can see, we haven't charged it in over a month. We still have 97% battery, would last 10 days in this way. We now turn on the AC ports here. These are your standard 110, 60 hertz. You can hear that the air conditioner just turned on. It's now recalibrating, not knowing how long it's going to last. So if we keep the AC ports on, it shows it'll last four days. That's without any power whatsoever, because this does require power to uh, have on standby. Let's go turn on the air conditioner. It is going to be in Celsius, but we're going to set it to 16 degrees Celsius, which is 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very chilly. Most people aren't doing that. It automatically starts off on energy saver. So I'm going straight to cold. I'm going to get it to go to the coldest it can. We're going to go back down to uh, over here. We can see it should start pulling pretty soon. It's just kind of turning on. And as you can see, this is the output now. So we have no watts coming in because we don't have it hooked up to the wall or we don't have it hooked up to solar. It's going to ramp up. We're going to watch it in live time. It might take a little bit. But as you can see, we've now gone down to one day. This is if it continually goes at 50 watts, which it won't. It will get a bit higher. These things traditionally, when they go to their max, will be between 1,500 and 1,800 watts. But once it hits the desired amount, they go down to about 500 to 300 watts. These units, again, have 3,600 watts of power or battery storage. If you were to use 500 watts, that's going to give you seven hours of continuous use. So as you can see, cooling down your house uh, doesn't take up that much battery power. And during the cool of the evening, you don't really need your AC on. And during the day, you can also be charging it with up to 1,600 watts of solar. So you can keep this thing going 24-7 without even depleting your, your battery. And I should say about 16 hours a day with sun, not 24-7. But... Um, so if you come back down here, you can see that we're at about 500 watts and we're going to slowly uh, keep going. But even if it, as you can see, six hours, and that's because at 97, so it would be about seven hours at full with 500 watts. But this is doing it with no problem whatsoever. Uh, we live in about just under 900 square foot place. This unit actually cools us down even when it's... Uh, 90 even all the way up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and that's what we get here in the in the summer So now that we've got this going we'll be back in just a moment I'm going to go ahead and plug in these other batteries just to show you how long uh, it will last with three batteries All right, so we've now got both of these additional batteries hooked up uh, It's really going. I don't know if you can hear it I do have my wind mic on just in case but uh, the compressor is on it's at uh, 60 0.8 Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Celsius. If you go down here, I'd mentioned that when it goes full, it will traditionally drop down below 500. And as you can see, it has dropped below 500 watts while going. So this is going to give us seven hours of continuous use. Um, if you look right here, you can see that the system knows that it has two batteries hooked up to it, and it hasn't requested any additional power from the other batteries. So We've got full power here. This means that we've got 21 hours of non-stop cooling. And that means we could throw a lot more at this, plus we can plug in solar panels. I didn't mention how many BTUs this unit is. It's actually 14,000 BTU uh, units, or BTU. So if you did have a 5,000 BTU air conditioner in a, a small room, 200 square feet, 
one of these systems will keep you going the whole time. Add an additional battery and you're laughing. You can be you know, using your microwave, making a pot of coffee, and you'll start to see us using this more and more in the summer, and we'll be showing you how much we can be throwing at this. But cooling is a big, big thing in the, in the summer when it's hot, and you can see that this would be the exact same in the winter. Um, if you had a heater, especially an oil rad, if you had 500 watts when it finally hit peak and was radiating the room with temperature, you could use a heater for seven hours. And if you had three of these all together, you would get 21 hours of heat or cooling. And so it's amazing to know, God forbid we had a power outage, our family would still be able to be comfortable while being able to charge these up and continuing that use. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 844-945-3625. You can also reach us by chat at wildoaktrail.com and you can always email us as well. Please feel free to leave some comments below and we uh, hope to serve you in the future. Have a great day.